agora sim. The wheels off the ground, and the wheels all the way up there. What's going on? Oh, I wonder what that noise was. Look, the spring's been scraping on the inside of the wheel. You see it? That's what's lifting the wheel up. The spring has got hold of the wheel. Ah, oh, well, you think it's left the alloy? I'll have to wait and see. Huh. Maybe it's not good. Look at that front end though. Look at those lights. Whew. Well, let's get this wheel off and um it's a good start. Uh, matches my hat. Well, she's knitted me the, the golf colour ones, two of them. Oh, that's all right. But I didn't want to get them around because they've got covered in oil. Yeah. Well, cool. Not that, not, not that I think she'll kick me in. Or so how do you think this is going to come off then? Do you think it's just going to come off? I don't know. I don't know. I hope the wheel is okay, but it's definitely, it's definitely scraped it, hasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Hello. Doesn't look good. Hello. That's oh. it there. Oh shit. It's not too deep. So wh when did this happen? Were you over? No, no, over Christmas. Oh, what a beauty! I'm just pleased it didn't do that when I was driving. Or maybe it did, and I was pissed off, and I didn't realise. <laughs> Only kidding. Um, <laughs> Uh, you can see there. Yeah. It's obviously had a crack in it. Uh -huh. I think the water's got in, uh, froze. Yeah. And because uh, I, I got in to go to the hospital, um, and I just didn't get free for. So, having a few problems getting this coupling out. Just can't seem to get this. Oops. I mean, we just can't seem to get this. Uh, Drill some holes in now to try to weaken it. Do you think a chisel to chisel the edge on it? And that should do it, shouldn't it? Try to split it, you'd think. Maybe yeah. Still inside. yeah. I yeah. thought the impact would have done it, but there's not enough resistance when it spins. Yeah. Let's go. Is that a separate washer at the back as well, do you think, or is it like. Uh, I think so. Because that would probably just be holding it together if it's not. Yeah, I think it is. If not, I'll drill that bugger as well. <laughs> yeah. It did. Um, I could feel it go through and then hit another item. Someone fell off. It's got to be a good turn, yeah? I think it's just all the uh, the shavings. Oh, bit of the spring. Oh. In many parts. <laughs> I think we're going to have to... It's, it's nearly through, actually, on that side, but I think I might be better putting a bigger, bigger drill through. Yeah, bigger drill, yeah. Yeah. Here's Mama Bear. Go for Papa Bear? <laughs> I think this is uh, cousin second removed. He looks a bit blunt. Yeah. Bit numb, you know? Bit numb. Oh, things moving there, they're not. Yeah. I'm 
nothing else to turn it. Guys, got it out. Hmm. So hopefully, if we can lift it slightly, that yeah, should we need come another, through there. Yeah, we need another jack. Uh, I'll put that on there. Just leave it out of them. So there we go. There we go. Look at all that room. And then let's get this bolt out. What size is that? Oh, I'll tell you what I have remembered. A lot of people like to uh, undo the top when they're. Alright then, so you want to put a bit of weight on that then, see if it does anything? Oh. Uh, what time do you want lunch? That was quite easy. Yeah. Uh, VW, Audi, bloody terrible for this. Yeah. Aluminium bottom arms as well. You never knew that. Oh well, just this big sack of shit at the top, don't worry about it, innit? Yeah. That's hopefully that just humble. So we'll, we'll We've got a bit of, it's pulling some weight on there, mind. Yeah, I was just we'll trying try to get that off somehow. Or is that the wrong way? That's it. Have we got uh, any, uh, yeah, something like that. Best 50 quid I've ever spent. So, what, just these bolts at the top? I think so. Just seems a bit too easy. I think the other side's harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, seriously, I think it's harder because I don't think that uh, shaft moves. Oh, no, wait, it won't be. It'll be easy. It's three-wheel drive, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's broke. Yeah. So that's one bit. I mean, it looks bare as if it's been rubbing. rubbing. Well, some of it's been rubbing on your uh, alloy. But that'd be the broken bit. That's a point. We've not found that bit yet, have we? Is that was it on the floor? That, oh, it's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been it. <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to take that and it might still be your tank. Do you see what size that is? As I always say, I can only hurt the ones. You still won't be bad. And on the floor. Have you done that? Yeah. Set and go. So there's a bearing in the right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got a feeling we're going to need those spring compresses. So, it's a new one on the right and the old one on the left. And there's quite a few differences. So I think, I like that. Do you want a bit of grease in there, you think? A bit on there, a bit there. on there. Can we get that nut on? Yeah. Yeah. And then that nut. And I think that's, we've got our bearing there. Put the bearing, yeah. Ah, oh, that should be that. Really? It should be it. Yeah. And that shouldn't, the, t the shocker should turn with that, shouldn't it? Well, that's the whole point of the bearing, isn't it? The top bit turns. Yeah. Uh, what, what I'm saying yeah. is, do you think we need grease on there? Can't do any harm, can't can do it? Can't do any harm, there. Yeah. You've got plenty. And you've got new bump stops on there. New rubber. That's adjusted all the way down, so maybe if we just... Get it on and then... Just, yeah. like, maybe it's an inch up. Yeah. So, to get that off, we had to use a 21 male socket on there held on like that and then we held the center nut center bolt with this easy I want that on there because when it's on the car we'll put grease in the top yeah okay yeah, sounds like a plan what do you think I should uh yeah, because we're going to have to use the software and everything, we want to see what we're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah. And like you say, we always push down with this stick. So if I push down on the floor, do we have this this one? Uh, yes, it will be, and then that one. Yes. Yeah. So I'll do it on the, the floor. floor. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we should have got the compressors. Oh no, but it's, it's not too bad. It's a different size socket, isn't it? Is Typically. It? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Yeah. But we might be able to nip it with the. Uh, because it's like a fresh. It's, a, it's an eyelock, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Is that the right size? Yeah. Oh, well, it wasn't the other one. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Half the got the right kit for the right cut. It says it on the box. Yeah. yeah, finally got that on. That was a bit of a bugger getting that. But it's on. It's looking good. Just uh, <laughs> see what it looks like with the wheel on. <laughs> well, yeah, the only thing I'm thinking is really I want to wind that up about an inch. Yeah. To make it even lower? No, to make it... Uh, oh, to put it where it's supposed to be higher to wind it up but it'll make it higher because i think when we get the wheel on that i think it'll be too low right so i thought if i wound it up an inch then i've got an inch to play with either way oh uh, have you seen the debush on this side uh, something else to change. well when we do the other side hopefully yeah because the other side should be the same Yeah, we still need to nip up that uh, bottom nut on the on the yes. strut, like. Uh, so is this is this like a lowering kit, or is it just meant as an alternative? Both, you can it's, it's coil over bus height adjustable raise. as well. I'm not too bothered about the height. I was quite happy the way it sat, uh -huh. especially being 50 year old trying to get in those doors. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be honest, I find it all right. I sometimes pick Kev up for work, he struggles, but I couldn't care about him. Maybe if I'd oiled that, that would have been better. <laughs> I might just... I might just leave that like that, see how it sits. Yeah, that's quite compressed, that bottom spring, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if it's tightened all the way up, I can't imagine what effect that will have. said that was flush with the bottom of the start of the threads uh-huh so if we can do the same on the other one the big reveal let's see how this looks right let's let's see if it ends up in australia when we drop it yeah well it's on is it low yeah, doesn't look too bad to be honest. That's why I know that, and it hasn't settled. It was a lot lower than that with it. when the wheel was turned before with a broken spring. This was uh, nearly touching that, so yeah. it's already better than a broken spring. <laughs> yeah. 
but I can I can easily do the house. New toys to put on, one of these 20s for the back, yeah? 20s for the back. In 15s for the front. Right. Just so my wheels can turn. Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. I find it's the best time to do things like this. Yeah, you go that neighbours will come out and talk to you. <laughs> Honest. Yeah, centre of Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it looks good, that. The only thing I think we might have to do, oh, they are vented on the back. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, there's the springs. Uh, is maybe he's rubbed the inside of the back. Gonna give that a clean. Yep. Can you shine the light? Oh yeah, nasty. All the way around. Yeah, so what's caused that do you think? Oh. Yeah. It's caused surprisingly little damage on this side. Considering what you know on this side. <laughs> That, that was when the coil spring broke in the first place. So, watch a &E. <laughs> Yeah. Now, well, hopefully this will fix it. But it's, they look like a cracking bit of kit, to be honest. Yeah. I just wish I knew about the spacer. Yeah. 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 Would have been nice yesterday. <laughs> yes. I've, I've since been back on Tinter and looked, you know, and there's a few references to required spaces. Right. But only when you type in do I need spaces with such and such, you know? Mm. I thought I could smell something. Yeah. I forgot about that. Mm. But I will try and wind that up. Just five mil or so. Do you oh, think? yeah. That's very good. So we'll look at this one then. Yeah. Oh. Definitely a little bit worse. Yeah. Arse. Have to get that unlocked first, won't we? Is it turning alright? No. I might need a, a rubber mallet. So there we are, a week later, sitting nicely. Not had any bumps, scrapes, or anything apart from the the drop bolt nut coming loose uh, that was easily fixed with a little bit of Loctite and double nutted it sits nice lower than the original but not too much no adjusters on the rear I've left them just the springs not height adjustable and I think that's a perfect height I may drop the front just another 5mm or so just to make it even um, the only problem we did have, so if you can see, the 15 mil spaces on the front, 20 mil spaces on the rear. Everything on the Stamps Plus kit fitted really well. The only problem was um, the shockers, the, the coilovers on the front, caught the inside of the front wheels. Now I hadn't used the car for three or four weeks and I thought, oh, is that rust build up on the discs? Nah. It was my wheel on the spring. But I must say, it rides really well, way better than it did when I first got it. Bearing in mind it been sitting on 20 year old springs and shocks. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge improvement. For 275 pound for the Stance Plus coilover kit, definitely worth every penny. And as you can see, security's in the car there. There he is. <laughs> 